California is approving their market in October of 2011. It's going to start in 2013, and we have great support from businesses. There's about 300 or more businesses that are going to be in the carbon market, and they see great opportunity for innovation and uh, for profiting from the transition to clean energy. Brazil has a lot to gain in the carbon market, uh, both in California and uh, throughout the, the world. Brazil has a great asset of, uh, of the tropical rainforest, um, whether it's doing red projects to trade credits into the programs, the carbon market programs, or whether it's setting up uh, the accounting and measuring system so that they can take advantage of financing that's available. Um, these are great opportunities uh, for Brazil. And with FJV's leadership and all the companies here that are so interested in reducing their carbon footprint, Brazil can really uh, be a, a leader and competitive both in terms of sustainability but also producing products and services that, that people will need and want. Well, the biggest lesson, the biggest lesson uh, about setting up a carbon market is that you need to create a balance between setting a firm limit on pollution and creating a system that's not too expensive for businesses or for uh, customers because you need to make sure you have an environmental cap, a limit on pollution so that you're solving climate change but you also have to make sure people are excited about it and that people will continue to support the program. In California we have over 75 percent of the population there is supportive of climate change law and that's a huge testimony to the fact that we have demonstrated that climate change policy is good for the economy also because everyone thinks about the economy. Well California is the seventh largest economy in the whole world so they're bigger than most countries and the fact that we're setting up a, a system which covers not only electricity power electric power plants but also uh, refineries and other industrial sources is tremendously important. It's the first state that's ever done that. We do have a few other states in the United States that are controlling power plant pollution only, uh, but California's will not only be a, a stricter limit, so we'll get more innovation, but the fact that California is such a large economic engine of growth, this is going to be transformational in terms of creating new technologies. We've already seen in California uh, billions of dollars invested in our clean energy companies because of this law, because of California's environmental policies. Uh, and we certainly think, as California has now been 40 years as the leader in the United States on environmental policies, many of those policies have been duplicated in other states and some of them even have been taken up by the federal government. And we see, we see this as an important pilot uh, step towards having a carbon market that is more broad. We also see it as an important step in having a linked market with Europe, with Brazil, with China, with Australia, with other parts of the world that are putting their systems in place.